Hello friends, welcome to Texta Diesel. In this video, we will make an IoT based smart AC dimming circuit using ESP32 to control fan speed with ESP Rainmaker, Google Home, and Amazon Alexa. Turn on fan. Sure, turning fan on. Set fan speed 3. Got it. Setting fan speed to 3. Alexa. Make the fan speed 4. Okay. If there is no internet, still you can control the fan with IR remote and manual selector switch. The ESP32 can also remember the previous state in the EEPROM memory. During the video, I have explained how to convert a normal regulator to smart IoT based regulator using free IoT platform. And in my previous videos, I have already built complete home automation system with fan speed control using different IoT platforms. So you can also check those videos after watching this video, you can find a link in the description. Now without any further delay, let's get started. To make this project, you need an ESP32, 4 channel relay module, IR receiver sensor, 4 step regulator, here we will use capacitive reactance, so this type of regulator will not work, so we have to use 4 step regulator, here you can see, I can change the step, then AC to DC converter, latch switch and some connecting wires. Now we have to connect all these components as per this circuit diagram. In the circuit here I have given the AC supply and the live wire connected with the AC to DC converter to give 5 volt to ESP32 and relay module and also the live wire connected with the common terminal of the first three relay. Here we will use capacitive reactance to control the fan speed. So if we select step 1 in the selector switch the first relay will turn on and we are giving maximum capacitive reactance to the fan then for the second step the second relay will turn on and here you can see we increase the capacitance value so we reduce the capacitive reactance to fan so the speed will increase for the third step the first and second relay both will turn on together so further we reduce the capacitive reactance again the speed will increase then for the fourth step the third relay will turn on and here you can see we are directly giving the supply to the fan so no capacitive reactance fan will rotate with maximum speed in my previous video i already designed this pcb to control four relay along with fan speed using altium you can find the video link in the description and now let me introduce you all to their brand new platform altium develop it's a powerful cloud-based platform that brings electrical mechanical software sourcing and manufacturing team together to a single shared space so everyone works in real time with shared data and context. No more endless meeting or confusing email chain. With LTM develop, feedback, update, decision happens instantly, keeping whole team connected and project moving faster. It combines the best of LTM designer and LTM 365, creating one powerful platform for seamless teamwork without any extra cost or complexity. That's why top electronic companies around the world trust Altium for their product design and innovation. So if you are ready to speed up your workflow and take collaboration to the next level, start your free trial of Altium Develop, link is in description. So here we will use this regulator to control the speed. So let me open it. So here you can see we will use this capacitive reactance to control the speed and this is the selector switch so you have to first desolder the selector switch from this pcb here you can see i have marked one two three four step on the pcb and you can easily do that with the help of this selector switch the selector switch was placed in this manner now if you see carefully on the top here is step two so i have marked it two then this is step one here you can see one is here so i marked it one selector switch was placed in this manner so this is step one then this is step three and this is step four after marking all the step 
now we can connect this PCB with the relay module as per the circuit. These are the source code for this project. You can download the codes from our website iotcircuithub.com. Just visit the related article. You can find the link in the description. Then you can download the codes from these buttons. After downloading, first we have to get the hex code of I remote buttons. So I will open this cage with Arduino IDE. Here you can see I have connected this IR receiver. The circuit is very simple. Now let me connect the ESP32 with my laptop. Now in the code here you can see it will just print the hex code of the IR remote button. Now let me select the proper COM port then select the proper board. Now we will upload this code. Now after uploading I will open the serial monitor select the broad red. Now I will just press the IR remote buttons to get the hex code. Now I will copy this hex code and paste it in a notepad. Then I will open the main sketch of this project with Arduino IDE. Now for this project I have installed this version of the ESP32 2.0.5. You can just go to board manager search for ESP32. Then here you can see I have installed this version and you need to install IR remote and ACE button library. Again I have mentioned the version here. So please install only this version for this project otherwise you may get some error while uploading the code. Now here I have given the node name ESP32 fan and these are the hex code of IR remote buttons so I will just go to notepad copy the first hex code paste it here I will use it to turn on and off the fan then I will copy the second hex code paste it here I will use it to increase the speed then I will copy paste the third hex code which I will use to decrease the fan speed in this way you have to update the hex code of your IR remote button but if you don't want to use IR remote control then leave it as it is then this is the device name here I have given the name fan you can give any other name then this is the service name and pop so you just have to update the device name if you want and the hex code of the IR remote buttons then you can directly upload this code to ESP32 for that select the proper board so here you can see I have selected ESP32 dev module then select the proper com port then in the partition scheme select rainmaker then enable this option which will erase all the flash memory before uploading the code so after doing all this setup we can directly upload this code to ESP32 the code is very simple I will also explain the complete code line by line in the same article you can find a link in the description so if you have any query you can always refer to the article after programming I will open the serial monitor then I will press and hold the boot button of the ESP32 for 10 seconds to trigger the factory reset now I will release it here you can see factory reset triggered then this is the QR for connecting the Rainmaker app I will just copy this link then open the same link with the browser now we have to scan this QR using ESP Rainmaker app so let me open the app you can get the app from the Google Play Store or App Store now before scanning I have to turn on the Bluetooth and mobile location now I will tap on this plus icon scan the QR this may take some time now this is our provision name let me check this and tap on pair now this is the Wi-Fi details if you want to connect to different network then enter the Wi-Fi name and password then tap on start again this may take some time and here you can see fan is added so the device added in the rainmaker app so i will tap on done so this is our device now i will quickly add this device with the amazon alexa and google home for that i will tap on setting select voice service then amazon alexa then link with amazon alexa before that you have to install the amazon alexa app then tap on link now i have to log in with the rainmaker account so here you can see it already linked with the amazon alexa so if i open the amazon alexa app then go to device then i have to refresh the screen and here you can see our device added now i will quickly connect the rainmaker with google home so let me open the google home app then i will go to all device then tap on add device then link apps or service then here i will search for esp rainmaker continue agree and continue so here you can see this is our device fan i will just go to dashboard and here you can see this is our fan 
and we can also control the speed from here now we will quickly connect the esp32 with the circuit here you can see i have connected the esp32 with the circuit now before giving the supply let me explain you the circuit now this is the ac supply and this red wire is a live wire so here you can see live wire is going to this ac to dc converter for the 5 volt supply for relay and esp32 and another live wire is going to common terminal of the first second and third relay now this is the fan regulator circuit here you can see step one connected with the blue wire and blue wire is connected with the no of the first relay then step two connected with the green wire green wire connected with the no of the second relay then step four here you can see this is step four step four connected with the yellow wire and yellow wire is connected with the no of the third relay and this red wire is going to the load here you can see this red wire is going to the load so make sure you connect the steps with the relay according to the circuit and this selector switch connected with the esp32 as per the circuit now i will give the supply to this circuit now let me turn on the supply and here you can see the blue led turns on so it connected with the rainmaker app so let me turn on the bulb now the brightness at step one let me go to step two now let me change the brightness with the selector switch now let me control it with the ir remote let me turn it off let me turn it on let me change the brightness now let me go to google home this is our device let me change the brightness to one now let me go to alexa then this is our device let me increase the brightness to three so the circuit is working fine now we will place the complete circuit inside this box now let me connect the smart regulator with the main supply and fan according to this circuit diagram please take proper safety precaution while working with the high voltage now let me turn on the supply so now i can easily control the fan with rainmaker google home and amazon alexa and in my previous video i have already built complete home automation system with fan speed control with different iot platform you can find the links in the description so if you find this video helpful then please hit the like button and share it with your friends don't forget to subscribe for more such videos thank you for watching have a great day